Stephanie Kather, uh, CEO of Parallel Profile. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. How are you doing today? Doing well, thanks. Is it a startup health festival? Are you do? Uh, is it? Are you having a good good it's, day so it's far? It's wonderful and exhausting. It's exhausting. Yes. It's the afternoon. We're pressing. Pressing next, through. Next year, I'm going to take the 9 a.m. So all right. Oh, sorry, I forgot the microphone. Gets all right. That's what happens. At, uh, you know, in the three to four hour, we need some espressos here. So you are the CEO of Parallel, Parallel Profile, and you are addressing. You're on a mission to address uh, drug reactions uh, in a smarter way. I understand. Okay. Right, right. So in our interviews, we always pull back and start with the the big why question, kind of. What got you into this? Uh, and the way to talk about that, the way we talk about that is to talk about health moonshots. So what would you say is Parallel Profiles, big health moonshot? Uh, to end adverse drug reactions, they kill 128,000 people a year. Wow. That's three times as many people as die from breast cancer. Wow. Um, another 2.7 million are admitted inpatient to the hospital. That doesn't count all the ER visits where people are treated and left. So these are serious. Um, harmful, yeah. often fatal episodes, and they come from people taking a properly prescribed drug yeah. that works for most of the people. Yeah. Um, and these side effects are rare, but it's still 128,000. It's yeah, still yeah. a lot of people, you know, with the definition of rare, yeah. right? Um, uh, how, did, how did you get into this? Uh, why are medication errors important to you? Well, I've been um, in quality improvement in healthcare for okay. my entire career. Yes. I've been aware of them for 20 years. Um, used to report to the board yeah. on, um, on them every month. So you've seen the numbers. I've the, seen the numbers <laughs> over the years, and, uh, and then it started happening to people I love. Yeah. And um, there were three strikes. The first one was my husband. Oh, wow. Um, his, um, he was... Uh, rushed from the ER into um, ICU. They told me to call my children and have them come say goodbye to their father. Wow. Um, because of my background, I started pulling his chart and yeah. doing this stuff, and I said, oh, take him off this drug. Wow. Take him off this drug. This is what it is. And the surgeon said to me, I've been prescribing that drug for 12 years, and I've never seen an adverse drug reaction to this drug. It's not this drug. And I said, well, you're not seeing it this time. Yeah. So who knows how many other times. Yeah. Um, against doctor's orders, I took him off the drug, and you know I had to sign paperwork to yeah, do that yeah. legally and all that. And 72 hours later, he was released, and that was 10 years ago. Wow. Um, six months after that, my mother was put into a coma by another drug, wow. um, which, according to a Mayo Medco study, is common. Okay. And um, over 20% of people who are taking the drug don't metabolize it normally. She was among them. Okay. Um, and then the third strike was my friend who died. Oh, wow. So I went, You've so we seen it. saved two, lost one. Yeah. And um, I went, this is a lot more often than I thought. Yeah. Um, so I started looking into it. I saw the numbers. Um, I saw that 220 billion. Yeah. Um, I saw the number of people who are affected that were actively working. Yeah. My area of expertise is employer benefit programs. Okay. I knew that if I went to my former clients and said, what do you think about this? We can save yeah. you billions, yeah. um, that they would be interested. I was right. Yeah. They are. They're okay. very interested. So what we're doing now is we're integrating with PBMs. Okay. And instead of you having a formulary that says, uh, if you take Crestor, it's a $5 copay, but if it's you, if you want Lipitor, it's a $25 copay. Instead of that being for everyone, your is a $5 for Crestor, but mine's a $5 copay for Lipitor because I don't want a financial disincentive to not ah, take sure. the right drug. Okay, okay. So it happens at the pharmacy counter. It's what, you know, You've it's You've incentivized automatic. taking the right drug. Right. Very right. smart, very smart. Okay. Um, what is the uh, what does the product look like right now? Uh, how would you describe kind of what you've built? Uh, you've told me kind of what it what it does, what the benefits of it are. Yeah, um, it's um, online. Yeah, um, anyone can order a parallel profile for um, a price. But if your employer offers it and you're eligible because you're on four more drugs, or you have enough, you know you're taking one of the 24 really dangerous drugs, or you're taking a really expensive drug yeah. sometimes. So it sounds that. like it's kind of like the brain behind the system. Right. And you can offer that up. And, and then each employee gets a promo code so that it's totally private. Their employer doesn't know anything about mm -hmm. their genetics. It's secure. Um, they get the promo code. They put it in on the site. Mm -hmm. 
and then they get the results online. So anytime they're in the pharmacy or yeah. in the doctor's office, they can pick up their phone, type in the first three letters of the drug, click on it, and it'll tell them immediately whether it's red, yellow, green. Now first they have to do a genetic test, so they get a, a swab, yeah. you know, and they just um, rub it on their cheek send it back and then in two weeks they have it for the rest of their life they know what drugs are safe interesting interesting uh, how do you feel